Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries coin farming and bounty guide, I will take a look at Blackrock Mountain's normal High Justice Grimstone, which is the source of Cairn Bloodhoof and Sylvanas coins. I will showcase the optimal party comp to tackle this challenge, I will show an alternative one, and I will show a cheap budget comp that can also complete this bounty. As for coin farming in general, if you already own the mercenary, the best way to get more coins is to farm tasks. You want to complete the task for that mercenary. And then once you're at the final task, you want to fill your task log, not have the task for that mercenary in your log, and then just keep farming tasks for that mercenary. And because the log is full, you can't get the task into the log, you will get 15 coins as compensation. And if you have already completed all the tasks for the mercenary, you want to farm early. Bounty is so low with that mercenary, so you will always get coins for that one. But none of that works if you don't own the mercenary yet. So what if you don't own the mercenary? You want Sylvanas, you want Cairn, you get coins from a Justice Bounty for those. Still, the best way to get more mercenaries is to farm tasks, because by farming tasks you get random coins, and eventually you will get enough random coins to get all the mercenaries, and that is the overall fastest way to gain coins. But that doesn't really help if you want a specific mercenary right now, in which case you want to farm a mercenary specific bounty. In the case of Cairn and Sylvanas, that's the High Justice Grimstone, and that's why this guide exists to show you how to effectively beat High Justice Grimstone. First of all, if you already have a good selection of mercenaries, what is the most effective part that you can take to High Justice Grimstone? And that would be this one. Rukan, Guff, Gruul, King Mukla, King Crush and Malfurion. So the idea behind this group is that you will beat all the encounters up to High Justice with Gruul, King Mukla and King Crush. Gruul runs Dragon Skull for fire resistance, King Mukla runs Mukla's big brother for that beast with taunt, and King Crush with flaming claws for more attack. They're pretty good at just bursting through all the encounters. And then you come to the final boss, and for the final boss you want your nature party, Malfurion, Guff and Brukan. Especially important in order to use this body is Life Root Staff on Malfurion, because there's a lot of area of effect damage in the encounter, but Malfurion with Life Root Staff, Guff and Brukan, they just blast down the boss while healing so much that they don't die. There's multiple comps to tackle this challenge, and the second best one for this one was the Holy Comp, but the Kings and Malfurion one is faster. So with this, the idea is that you go with Gruul, Velen and Anduin, and you go with them all the way. Velen just doubles Anduin's holding over, Anduin's holding over, boom, boom, boom. But sometimes you might lose some of the members on the way, so then you have Uther. Uther can replace Anduin as the AoE damage dealer if Anduin happens to die. And you have Xyrella, and Xyrella can replace Gruul if Gruul happens to die. The sixth slot in this party really doesn't matter, I never had to use the sixth character. Cariel probably isn't even that good there. But the beast and nature comp was faster than the holy comp, so this is just an alternative if you don't have those nature heroes. And of course, you might also be in a position where you don't have a lot of epics or legendaries at all, but fear not, I have also tested the budget option, and you can beat this encounter comfortably on a budget by using, well, pretty basic budgeting. Cariel, Sorella, Samuro. Just a great combination of early characters, characters that you get for free. You can get with them all the way to the final boss, you can tackle final boss with them as well, but for the final boss I prefer Brukan, Cornelius and Guff, where Cornelius is going to heal Brukan and Guff, and Brukan and Guff just blast down the boss. And to bring this all together and demonstrate these compositions, I have some gameplay samples for you. So I have samples of Gruul and Kings climbing through the bounty, I have a sample of the budget team climbing through the bounty, and then boss skills with the nature team, with the holy team, and with the budget team. Armed with this information, High Justice Grimstone should be a piece of cake for you. Well, everyone's still alive, so there's that. No way, Yoi. Going to start punching. Let's start punching in. Oh no, even more people getting in here. Speed of a problem, maybe? Luminous kills that one. The images don't quite kill that one. We have a taunt up. My 
Needed to get the taunt gear. That improves the attack when you're taunted up. So many people getting in here. This one can now kill that one. I think this should be okay. Everyone. And then the I have I have some AOE because I have the whirling blade. Well, I mean rule more lucky and crush. And craft like five legendaries it feels so bad. I know. It it really, really does. I wholeheartedly agree. It feels incredibly bad. But I was looking at comps that I would like to play, and I was like missing something from everything, basically. Everything that I wanted to play, I just can't. I'm missing some pieces. I figured I would I will have to craft some. I crafted Anduin and Uther. Two days ago. And now I crafted Troll and Ragnaros. For three days without computer, took two days to rebuild everything. Oh dear. That's tough. Hell <laughs> I'd also have this Malfurion. Because I was planning to use just the Malf. Malf comp here to kill the final boss. With Life Root Staff to heal. But I'm not sure if that's truly enough. Like just pushing in like this. Maybe this doesn't work. Because that's a lot of AoE. Good chunk of AoE indeed. But in theory, if I get rid of the if I get rid of the big boss, then then the small ones don't matter anymore. Because Malafurian will just out heal them. The staff. It looks like the boss is dead. So even though these gain double damage against the blues, it just will not matter. Could even Iron Bark here. Direct the damage away from Brookhan. Like this was one idea I had for farming comp for this this bounty. And the other was the holy. And this does look pretty nice. Did you come to fight in the arena? Fight in the arena, eh? Ah, I just came with Velen and doing to delete everything. We don't get very good. We don't get the full experience here though because of Gruul's treasure, which negates so much damage here. Like can they even can they even deal damage to me? Look at this go. Two damage. Zero from the attack. Look at that. Oh.
that, that rules for sure is just it's it's crazy good. And then we pop the double nova. The double nova does not immediately kill all of these, right? Nope. So the immunity. Double nova actually didn't do that much. Hmm. Might not be the might not be the late game solution. But if that one isn't, then what is? Hi, <laughs> Shizen. How's it going? It's a new day, and there was another hot fix for mercenaries. Players were trying not to give Blizzard money, and Blizzard would have none of that. Completely unacceptable, I say. Completely unacceptable. And the hotfix was that you no longer gain rewards from PvP unless three mercenaries have died in the game. But what I want to know is whether Cornelius can do some of the things that I want it to do. Like we enter with Goff. Goff Cornelius Brocon. Let's give this a try. Go Goff. Ouch. 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 Do you know about what factor? I don't think we have specific information on that yet. It was mentioned in some of the blog posts, but I don't think they gave specific numbers. Well, Cornelius is definitely standing strong here, but... But actually, Cornelius can do Blessing of Sacrifice there now. They should just... And that happens first, and then we get the chain lightning going. I mean, this is just win, isn't it? No, I didn't take into account the... ...the invulnerability. No, the chain lightning is actually not going to be that useful. Should have waited a turn. But yeah, Cornelius did, did manage to tank this fairly effectively. Overall. Oh, pow. That wasn't bad. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.